So in this problem, we have N2 plus H2 goes to NH3, and we want to balance this reaction. So the way I like to do this is to write my elements down below the reaction arrow. So I have two elements, N and H, in this problem. And then on the left-hand side, I write how many nitrogens do I have in my reactants. I would have two nitrogens. And then in the products on the right-hand side, the N doesn't have a subscript, so that means that we have one nitrogen in the products on the right-hand side. Do the same thing with our hydrogens, and we have two hydrogens on the left-hand side and three hydrogens on the right-hand side. So in order to balance, we can't make a number of the elements smaller. We want to have the number of elements equal on each side, and we can't make anything smaller, so we have to only make things bigger. So in order to balance the nitrogen, we need to change one nitrogen on the right into two. So if we put a coefficient of two, then it changes the number of nitrogens to two. Now it doubles everything on the right. So nitrogens will go to two and hydrogens will go to six. So now the nitrogens are balanced. We have two on each side, but now we need to balance the hydrogens. We have two hydrogens on the left and six on the right. So if we put a coefficient of three, whenever we have a coefficient in front, we always multiply it by the subscript. So three times two makes six, and we have a balanced reaction with two nitrogens on each side and six hydrogens on each side. So this would be the final answer of the correct balanced reaction. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more homework help questions.